Today we're making a Valentine's Day must watch list. Hearing from the stars of the book of Boba Fett, talking to the one and only Jeff Goldblum about season two of The World According to Jeff Goldblum and so much more. I'm Andre, my co-host Jenny is in a galaxy far, far away, but she'll be back soon. This is What's Up Disney Plus, where we talk all things Disney Plus. Valentine's Day is almost here and love is in the air. So whether you're spending it with a partner, friends, or yourself, we've got a list of some moments from these must-watch Disney Plus movies and series. Brought to you by LG OLED, life's good. We're checking out all of these moments on the new LG OLED TV. Get ready for a viewing experience to fall in love with. First up, we're heading to a galaxy far, far away for Star Wars Rebels. Pilot Harrison Dula and Jedi Kanan Jarrus had a will they won't they dynamic going on for a very long time before this must watch moment which comes from season four. The moment we've all been waiting for is when Hera and Kanan finally kiss. Ah, sweet intergalactic love. And with OLED's perfect black and infinite contrast, all the little details of this long awaited scene look even better thanks to LG. Animation looks really good on this. And speaking of animation, next on the list is the Disney Channel series, The Owl House. In the episode Knock Knock Knocking on Hootie's Door, we finally see Luz ask out her crush Amity, only to have Amity ask her first. They both say yes to each other in a sweet moment that will tug at your heartstrings. This episode totally captures how scary it is to tell a crush that you like them, but also how it can be rewarding. This next one's a tearjerker. The Walt Disney Animation Studios short film Us Again is a definite must watch this Valentine season. It's a story of an elderly couple who rekindle their love for each other and for dance beneath a magical rain cloud. In this scene, they reunite and share a dance like they had done so many times throughout their life together. Now we've got a romantic moment courtesy of Marvel Studios' What If. In this episode, Thor is an only child who has grown into a little bit of a party animal. Thor's partying ways put the planet at risk, but it's Jane Foster to the rescue and love starts to blossom. We're celebrating all different types of love this Valentine's Day, including the love we have for our families. And speaking of family, let's talk about Encanto. In this Walt Disney Animation Studios film, all the members of the Madrigal family have a magical gift, except for Mirabelle. When Mirabelle learns that their magic might be disappearing, she does everything she can to bring her family together and save their home. Mirabelle proves that her love for her family is every bit as magical as any of their gifts. And finally, we've got some lovable mentions of other movies and series that you can watch for Valentine's Day. Who could forget The Princess and the Frog? Tiana and Naveen get their happily ever after as she opens the restaurant she always dreamed of. Our next lovable mention goes out to the Pixar Spark short, Out. With the help of a magical dog, Greg comes out to his parents and introduces them to his boyfriend, Manuel. And last but not least, one of the most charming scenes to watch is everyone's favorite sentimental robot, Wally, meeting Eve for the very first time. You can catch these Valentine's Day picks and more now streaming on Disney+. And now, here's what's new. Black Joy, Black Triumph, Black Adventure. All year long, Disney Plus features storytelling that celebrates expressions of the Black experience. The Celebrate Black Stories collection highlights Black characters, creators, and voices who continue to shape history every day. It's not a Lunar New Year celebration without a feast. Get the celebration started early with your favorite foods and people. All of these and more are streaming on Disney+. Plus. Mark your calendars because the Proud Family is back. The Proud Family, louder and prouder. An all new original series is streaming February 23rd, only on Disney+. Plus. My absolute favorite new series to watch is without a doubt, The Book of Boba Fett. As you know, I'm a huge fan of the character and this show really delivered. I love how we get to delve into his past and see what brought Boba Fett to where he is now. To celebrate the new series, let's hear from Ming-Na Wen and Tim Uera Morrison. Kia ora everybody, Tim Uera Morrison playing Boba Fett. Hello, I'm Ming-Na Wen, AKA Fennec Shan from the book of Boba Fett. If I was a crime lord on Tatooine, well, I think I'm changing a, a little bit. So um, obviously I've got to collect them, I think. So I haven't changed that much. <laughs> 
my ideal throne would be very comfortable. Mine would have cushions, then a blanket, and some snacks on the side. Do we have ceviche in space? If I was in charge of catering in the throne room, ceviche would be top of the list, and maybe some chocolate cake to finish off. That would be nice. Nice. Uh, I think I would have a little pet bantha. But a little one, not a big one. There's no yeah. room for a big one, like a little miniature one. And then I can pat it every now and then. And because the assassin Fennec Shan had to sit on the armrest, it wasn't very comfortable. So she could sit on the bantha as well. It'd be a little softer. <laughs> a little furrier and softer. If I had a band and uh, I had to pick a Disney Plus character to lead it, it would probably be one of my favorite uh, singers. She portrayed Ariel in Little Mermaid, Jodie Benson. Another Disney Plus character I would have besides Jodie Benson as Ariel would of course be Mulan as she sings to Mulan, me. What about Chief Tui? Chief Tui could be the drummer. Oh yes. If you want to see what Boba Fett and Fennec Shan do, you can watch The Book of Boba Fett, streaming now on Disney+. Plus. Now we get to hear from the host and star of The World According to Jeff Goldblum. You guessed it, Jeff Goldblum. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, I can see you all. Hey, my, my name is Jeff Goldblum from that show, The World According to Jeff Goldblum. Nice title, where I dive into a different subject every episode and I uncover the secrets behind it. <gasps> I got involved through Nat Geo and I did a few episodes of Explore and then they said, hey, how about a show where you host and do a different subject or, or thing every week and maybe they can be things that everybody loves or are familiar. And they kind of let me go, you know? And then their editing is very good and they're very tasteful and they make me look you know, coherent. Then I like what they do with it. You know, I watch these shows and I've given them all of my home movies when I was a kid. And they include those, because I often talk about, as you can imagine, I say, oh, that reminds me of when I was a kid and my mom and dad used to dance. And I, all of a sudden I see the episode and sure enough, there's my mom and dad seeing in a piece of footage that I hadn't seen in a million years. And I often get choked up and kind of, I kind of love it. So I love how they turn out and I love watching it. And then and it got nominated for an Emmy. Very proud of that, because I dig the show. And then this season, we already have released Into the Wild. And you may have seen dogs and magic and monsters and fireworks and dance. My favorite, you know, puzzles. There were, I had never heard of escape rooms. We were locked up with uh, other people who love these escape rooms. That was fun. And then in the same puzzle episode, oh, you know what I did? I went and visited the real world and the real people involved with air traffic control, because that's a puzzle. Because that's, you know, figuring out, uh, you're, you're too close to the striker, striker, you're coming in too fast. You know, whatever they say, but they keep, you know, the hundreds of planes up in the air at the same time from crashing into each other. And they get them to land. Well, I did a little bit of that. So that was harrowing and fun. For my birthday, we walked over hot burning coals. And what happens with that? Mm, I'll give you a clue. Nobody really gets hurt. Backyards we did. You know what was fun about that? Well, there was a guy who has decked his whole backyard out in pirate-alia. And he and his friends play pirates. I put on some pirate gear and uh, did some yo-ho-hoing. You know, very, very fun. My life has traveled on the track of curiosity. I think it's in all of us. Curiosity is part of why we're human beings. And I think there's still some juice to be gotten out of our ongoing curiosity about who the heck are we? How did we get here? How did the universe start? What is consciousness? Is there anybody else out there? Is string theory correct? Where did string cheese come from? All these things, very, very, I'm, I'm just curious about every, every little thing. You can stream the world according to Jeff Goldblum right now on Disney+. Plus. We swoon over the Valentine's Day watch list, talked the book of Boba Fett with Ming-Na Wen and Timuera Morrison, and got gold bloomy with Jeff himself. That's our show. Be sure to head on over to Disney Plus to stream all these and more. And before we go, What's Up Disney Plus would like to wish a happy 36th anniversary to Pixar Animation Studios. We've been so happy to go to infinity and beyond with you, and we know it's all up and onward from here. See what I did there? You're turning inside out with laughter, are you? Feel it in your soul? Because I was so brave to give you these incredible jokes? 
huh? You want a Luca for more comedy? Come here. I'm just kidding. I'm done. Ciao, Alberto. I can't help myself. Jenny, come stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Do anything. I'm not Did doing anything.